Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a simple but super useful skill how to justify text in Figma. If you've ever felt frustrated because your paragraphs look a little too uneven on the edges, or you just want that clean, book-style margin on both sides of your text, you're in the right place. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to fully justify your text in Figma, even though the option isn't immediately obvious. Let's get right into it. So here I've got a text box that's not justified, it's just the usual left-aligned paragraph. Maybe you've run into the same thing. You paste in your content, adjust the font, but the lines are still ragged on the right side. If you're coming from tools like Microsoft Word, you might expect to see a justify button sitting right in the alignment toolbar right. Well, in Figma, it's a little bit hidden. If you look over in the design panel, which is where we usually tweak typography and alignment settings, bold, italic, left align, center, right, you'll probably notice something odd. There's no justify option there by default. This can be a bit confusing if you're not familiar with where to look next. But don't worry, this is just a small detour. The trick is to head over into a slightly deeper setting. Make sure you've selected your text layer, then look for something called Type Details or Type Setting in your right-hand Properties panel. It might just be labeled as Type in newer versions. Go ahead and give that a click to expand the options. Now, once you're inside the Type Settings, take a look at the Alignment options again. You should see a few more choices appear here compared to the basic alignment buttons. One of them is the justified alignment. It usually looks like a stack of horizontal lines, all neatly aligned on both the left and right edges. Clicking this button tells Figma to space out your text automatically so that every line except maybe the last one touches both margins. It's just like laying out paragraphs in a magazine or a book, and it creates a much more uniform, intentional look. Go ahead and click that justify button. You'll notice your text immediately snaps into place with even spacing along both sides. Now, if your paragraph is quite short, or if there's only a couple of words per line, sometimes the spacing can get a little exaggerated. That's normal, just try extending the width of your text box to let Figma puzzle together a better fit. If you ever need to undo it or try a different alignment style, you can always hop back into the type settings and switch things up. And that's all there is to it. It's a simple adjustment, but it can make your designs look a lot more polished and professional. Remember, Figma hides some powerful tools in those extra menus, so it always pays to explore the options just a little deeper. If you're working on anything with long blocks of text, like app descriptions, blogs, or marketing materials, this Justify trick is absolutely worth remembering. Thanks for following along. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit that like button, and feel free to drop any questions or share your own tips down in the comments. For more Figma guides and design tutorials, make sure to subscribe so you never miss an upload. See you in the next video.